Hey everyone, welcome to another episode about the LEGO Train Automated Container Terminal. Last episode I ended with that we would uh, move the blue crane, um, but I changed my mind. As I was preparing to move the blue crane, I was getting out of storage the compressor. I managed to get it working again, um, but it needs an update. It, uh, it's not big enough, there are more pneumatic systems coming inside the uh, hole. Uh, system as yes, of course it started with the red crane which is fully pneumatic and we got the grabber on the blue crane we got the monorail system which has pneumatic parts there will be another system that will be pneumatic as well so i need to upgrade the compressor as it does not uh, deliver enough air for all those systems to be powered of course i have air tanks um, but if you do not deliver enough power or air inside the air tanks the pressure will drop and at a certain point you'll uh, be below the threshold that the crane can work. So I need to uh, install more pumps. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I was thinking about instead of using eight pumps, let's use 16 pumps. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I already used four motors in the old compressor. And um, that's what we're gonna do in the new situation as well at least that's what i'm hoping for so that's why i built this test setup with uh, four pumps on, on one motor it's an uh, l motor and as you can see um, every pump has a uh, an angle of 90 degrees um, on the axis so you got a uh, an even distribution of the uh, of the pressure so i'm going to switch I'm, I'm i've cannibalized a bit the uh, old compressor use the power from that can switch it on see how it works well it works just fine now if I block the uh, air yeah pops up that's good all right so it looks like it has enough power but to be sure I'm going to connect the air um, tanks to it and let's see if we can uh, fill them up. All right, everything is connected. Also the uh, pressure sensor over here. So the main reason why I want to test this is at the end when there's uh, a lot of air inside the uh, air tank, there will be a lot of back pressure against the four pumps. And I want to be sure that the uh, one motor for the four pumps is still able to make the pumps turn around and uh, get some air in the tanks so that it gets to its set point rather fast than because uh, if there's uh, a lot of back pressure and um, the motor is not strong enough you'll see that the time to reach the set point inside the air tanks the pressure set point will take a lot of time and i want to reduce that as much as possible so let's have a look Here we go. Well, this takes a while. I'm gonna stop the video and get back to you. And we're here. Well, it has done its job pretty well, actually. Yeah. So I think we can continue um, with the whole uh, with the whole thing. Uh, just one thing. The motor is. Yeah, around 40 degrees, so it's pretty hot for a Lego motor. Let's load some air and make it enable again. Oh. Because there's one thing I want to check. And that is the amount of current it is taking. That's a bit difficult, but as you can see, it's around 840 milliamps. And when I take the pressure off, let's see how it performs then. Yeah, that's around 100 milliamps. That's fine. All right. So 
So the air tanks are uh, losing some air, as you can hear right now. It works fine, and um, we can continue with this uh, design. So, this is it. I got the base ready. I wanted to uh, design the base first before I design the whole building around it. Make sure that the base is good. And, um, well, as you can see, I salvaged some parts from uh, the old compressor, added a few pumps, and... Uh, yeah, we're gonna push the, uh, the power button and see what it does. And it does nothing. Ah, of course the switch here. <laughs> yeah, now the lights are on here. I'm using the old electronics from the old compressor. Oh wow. Yeah, it runs smoothly. <laughs> There's actually... There's actually a little breeze of air coming around my face. It's, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it runs very smoothly and that's also because of the, the, the compressor. Um, every motor axle has four pumps and they're all on a 90 degrees angle. So uh, that makes it run very smoothly. Um, so next now is selfish the electro electronics that are in here. Um, I'm going to make some adjustments to the electronics as well, that you'll see uh, in a minute. I um, haven't done that yet. I'm going to design a, a new building and then I uh, integrate the electronics inside it. I don't think we're going to use all the, reuse all the air tanks that you see here, because I got these two used air tanks, of course, and well, these don't do anything extra. They bring a little extra capacity, but it is not that much. So I think I'm going to lose a, a few. And um, yeah, so next step is um, building the building. Well, actually, I have to design it still. So I'm going to do that. Not going to bore you with that process. All right, fast forward a few weeks. And I went completely rogue in studio. <laughs> so uh, I designed a building, as you can see. This part you might recognize with the uh, dark turquoise colors and the uh, the motors and i was like well this is a compressor that i'm going to use all the time why not making it a nice building so that's what i did and um and this is what it currently looks like well, of course I, I took off the roofs to have a peek inside so there's a little control room here with a uh, with a bathroom below here on the first floor there will be the uh, the electronics the Arduinos, there will be a TFT screen here on the side and here on the back you can see that there are doors which enable me to actually um, uh, reprogram the Arduinos if necessary. So um, yeah, it looks nice, um, but it also has almost 5000 parts. So, <laughs> so um, for fun, I uploaded this uh, this to uh, to Bricklink uh, into a wanted list. I pressed um, automatic selection for the parts in Europe. I already when when building this, I already uh, made sure that all the parts that I use are widely available. So um, automatic selecting, but some parts I needed they weren't present in the Netherlands. So there should be also a German. Uh, a German uh, store, but I pressed uh, auto select, which something um, yeah you might not want to do with uh, so much parts, but I did just for fun, and I ended up with a price around one thousand euros. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible amount. I'm not gonna pay for that, of course, but uh, there are some parts. For example, the, the motors here and the pumps and all the uh, dark turquoise uh, stuff, I already have them. The windows that you see here, I use them in a skyscraper uh, crash video. <laughs> Gonna use them as well. So there are a lot of parts that can be taken out. And next to that, the automatic selection uh, feature on Bricklink is not that good. So um, right now, I'm in the I'm in the hideous progress process of going through the wanted list 
uh, which was 15 pages long. <laughs> and uh, see what I have. I've already done black, as you can see here. I already sorted out the black parts. And um, yeah, uh, this is basically uh, what I do normally. Um, I build something. Um, I, I see what I have. And um, yeah, after that, I know what I have to order. So that's the phase I'm in currently. Yeah, I'm curious what the end result will be uh, when I press another time in uh, BrickLink on automatic selection after I have removed from the wanted list all the parts that I already own. Yeah, well, that's about it. Um, when I'm done with this uh, wanted list, I'll uh, give you an update. All right, this is what I could find in my own stash. On BrickLink, the wanted list, it's gone from 15 to 6 pages, which is nice. Let's have a look how much uh, we have to pay now. Uh, there's one more optimization step that we need to take, but just to have a look on uh, the amount. Wow, it takes long. Still a lot of pieces in there. Um, auto select. I'll explain a bit later what uh, what I normally do. Because if you do all the select, it looks for the least amount of uh, stores, and uh, that's what you see here. And um, but it doesn't mean that the prices are correct or as low as possible. Well, as you can see, we're now at 500 euros. We were at 1,000, so we cut it in half already. But um, yeah. There needs to be done more to make this project happen. So uh, there's also the Lego bricks and pieces. And sometimes Lego bricks and pieces is cheaper than BrickLink. So that's my next step to do. Let's see if I can uh, squeeze this number down. I had in mind something like 300 euros. But I don't think I'm going to make that. But uh, we'll see. So the next step in the process is uh, going through uh, rare parts. And uh, those parts can be rare by itself or the quantity that you need. And um, I select then, um, yeah, parts, uh, stores where the parts are available. And uh, as you can see, there were one, two, three, four, five stores where I needed special parts. Then I ran to my uh, wanted list again and, and uh, searched for all the parts in that wanted list in the five stores. And that's how you get five stores with uh, the parts that you need, plus the stores, uh, plus the parts that you still need for uh, that weren't available in the five stores. So if we have a look at the total cost now, we are at uh, 30 euros uh, minimum buy. Need to up, up, uh, make it a bit higher. So 40 euros. Um, 55 euros, uh, 110 euros, and this is 160, something like that. Sometimes shipping is already inside, uh, I don't care. 160, and then we have this one, uh, the pick a brick, because sometimes pick a brick on the Lego website is actually cheaper. Um, and that is also, yeah, let's say um, 40. Um, without shipping, so that, that means that 160 plus 40 is 200 in total. And then the additional orders that I need to get all the parts that I need, it's another 74 euros. So that makes a total of about 275 euros, but this is excluding shipping. And this is a pain in the ass. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times shipping and handling. Yeah, it'll cost a few dimes as well. Uh, these are not big packages, so mostly envelopes. So I believe it will be around three euros or something each. But then again, nine times three euros is still 30 euros almost. So a lot of money. So I'm going to order the parts and um, yeah, we're going to wait until they're in. For now, this is it. When I have the parts, I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna build the thing, and I'm gonna make a special video for it on my uh, main channel. So have a look at that. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so. 
See you next time. Bye-bye.